Wegineer.com presents the Vivo Sun pH and TDS meter kit. We're going to show you how to calibrate it at one point and at three points, plus how to know when it needs to be calibrated again. This kit comes with batteries both in the meters and backup batteries in the box. It also comes with one-time use pH calibration powders in 6.86, 4.0, and 9.18. These powders get mixed with 250 milliliters of deionized water until fully dissolved. The pH meter should be calibrated before your first use and any time you accidentally hit the calibration button, then about once every month during regular use. I don't use these three powders that come with the kit. Instead, I recommend getting the three BioPharm pre-mixed solutions. To use these solutions, I set up four small glasses. One for distilled water to rinse off the meter before and between each solution, and one for each of the three solutions. Be sure to have a clean, dry cloth nearby. Let's start by rinsing off the pH meter in distilled water, then shaking it and drying it off. The calibration always starts with a 6.86 solution. If you want, you can stop your calibration here. This one point test will get your meter accurate to plus or minus one tenth of a point. I've found that while this is accurate enough for my use, I still do the three point test. The three point test raises the accuracy to plus or minus one hundredth of a point and significantly reduces the amount of time it takes the meter to stabilize at a final pH. This also brings the added benefit of knowing when to calibrate again. As soon as the meter starts to take longer to settle on a pH, you know it's time to calibrate. Let's do the three-point test. Turn your meter on and place the tip into the 6.86 solution. My meter is reading 7. Press and hold the calibration button for 5 seconds. When the meter flashes 3 times, let it go. You can now take it out of the solution, shake it off, clean it in distilled water, and dry it. You're going to repeat this process for all three points. Place it in the solution, press and hold the calibration button for five seconds. When it flashes, let it go and take it out. Shake it off. Rinse it in the distilled water, shake it off, dry. And one last time, we're going to put it in the final solution. We're going to press and hold calibrate for five seconds. When it flashes three times, we're done. We'll take it out and we'll rinse it off in distilled water. With all three points calibrated, I like to go back to the first 6.86 calibration solution and see what the meter reads. It should come up pretty quickly. There we are. Our meter is reading within 1 100th of the original solution at 6.85. That's an acceptable reading. That's it. I like to take my used solution and put each in a second small bottle and reuse it. Every few months when I'm recalibrating, I'll test my 6.86 solution against some of the fresh bottle to be sure my active test solutions are still accurate. Visit me at Weegineer.com where I've got links to everything in the video and address various topics to ensure you have a successful grow. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe.